Les and I first met at Louisiana Tech. I actually thought he was a nerd because he sat in the front row for every class that we had. We were in a finance class and I thought the cute girl behind me could give me some answers so I, I turned around and... He was trying to get my number in the process. Asked her for a number so she could send me the, the answers to the quiz and, and she forgot my name. He was like, yeah, thanks for sending me the answers. And I was like, oh yeah, no problem. Um, what's your name again? <laughs> so it didn't really work out great for me, but then the next quarter we had a marketing class together. And, and then we just hung out one night and we stayed up talking to about 3 a.m. <laughs> We've been inseparable ever since then. And I mean, that was June of 2017. You know, he's very reserved at first, but once you get to really know him and to really learn who he is as a person, it's just really beautiful. Leslie's drive to always be better than, you know, the day before is what I love about her. And just the way that he makes me smile because I can be really uptight and serious all the time. And he just brings that little kid laughter out of me and my little soul <laughs> just starts to, to you know, live again and when, we're, when it's just me and him it's just kind of like nothing else matters. I just saw like how he loved his parents and how he loved all of his friends and how very welcoming they all were and I was sitting there and this is about a month into our relationship and I was like wow I could really see myself with this family with with Austin, you know, doing this all the time. <laughs> so that was when I told him that I loved him and I'm not just here to date you, like I'm here to marry you. I knew that Leslie was the one pretty quick when the time I spent was clearly different than with anybody else that I'd ever spent time with. The way that we laughed and joked and just had such a fun time with, with everything we did, it, it just, felt different. I felt different in my stomach all the way up to my heart. In my head, I, I knew that she was the one that I wanted to have those moments with for the rest of my life. You're already crying! Look. Oh, my God. He's already crying. I love you. Just catch me if I start falling down. You have been such a joy to me and dad would have loved to have, have been here for this and so would Grammy and Mimi and Pappy I know. would all want to be here for this but they're up in heaven looking over you I just can't look at and you and dad's gonna be watching and he's gonna be there I know. you'll notice later they're all gonna be there I, I love you I love you too embrace the joy of complimenting one another. Mm -hmm. Now, Austin, I would tell you that, that that can mean you look beautiful every day. <laughs> but what I really mean is, is to compliment one another, mm -hmm. to realize that those things that you're weak in, God has given you a gift in. Absolutely. Spur the moment uh, things and fun. And God has given you a great gift and a planner and someone to organize life. What a great way of complimenting. And just as we talked in our time before, mm -hmm. uh, often years after this day, we can begin to see that as a, as a nag or something that, that weighs us down or goes against who we are. But, but always remember to see each other, one another as a gift. And those are the clothes that mm -hmm. you are to wear in your marriage. And so Austin, if you would look into Leslie's eyes and repeat after me. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Austin, take you, Leslie. I, Austin, take you, Leslie. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Amen. Amen. And Leslie, if you'll look into Austin's eyes and repeat after me. Mm -hmm. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Leslie, take you, Austin. I, Leslie, take you, Austin. To be my husband. 
to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Well, Austin and Leslie, you have now declared your consent and vows before God and your family and friends. May God confirm your covenant, fill with you both with grace and joy. By the power given to me by God the Father, the church, and the state of Louisiana, I now pronounce you husband and wife. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no man, let no one put asunder. Amen. Okay. Austin, you may kiss your bride. It is my privilege and honor to announce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Austin McNeil. I want to be there when the voice is in your head Loud enough to make you lose your mind Just the same when you're dominating the day I want to be the one who's by your side You know my love is not the jealous type doesn't matter if we win or lose oh, I can stay or I can come no matter where you're coming from I can be the one to let you choose Leslie and I have known each other since we were four years old. Leslie has always been the friend that is structured, gives great advice, and helps in any situation she can. She always sent me encouraging notes because she recognized how important that kind of support was for her friends. I'll admit, I used to be jealous of how confident and smart she was, but I realized that those qualities in her are what made our friendship grow deeper. Leslie is the sister that I always wished for. Over the years, we've had many arguments, but that's what sisters do. We've shared some really tough times and some really wonderful times, being today one of the best. There are many people who have played a part in y'all's journey who aren't here physically today. But I definitely wanted to call out how awesome Miss Ellen and Mr. Wesley did raising this girl. I know Mr. Wesley would have loved seeing his baby girl in person on this special day. But he has the biggest smile on his face today for you. So Leslie, when you think he's been playing too much golf, and Austin, when you think she's been doing too much shopping, Think back to this wonderful day with all of your friends and families and all the love you share. So everyone, please raise a glass to the new Mr. and Mrs. McNeil. Gonna break all your mirrors. Wanna be there when the darkness closes in to make the truth a little clearer. Wanna hold you close but never hold you back. I'll be the banks for your river. And to celebrate your achievements, big or small, <laughs> I promise to laugh and giggle and be adventurous with you. You're my best friend, my biggest supporter, my love, my goofball, and the banks to my rivers. <laughs> but most of all, today you will be my husband. I wanna be strong for you. Like the banks to the river and If you ever feel like you are not enough Gonna break all your mirrors Wanna be there when the darkness closes in To make the truth a little clearer Wanna hold you close but never hold you back Be the banks for your